Hi everybody, it's Rebecca. Today it is Labor Day and we are outside in this gorgeous park. I'm going to turn the camera around and let you see where I am. I am at a place called High Park. And it is, well there's a trash can. <laughs> I'm at a little picnic table, a little gazebo. The wind is uh, blowing. I tried to put a little tablecloth down and it's not faring so well in this wind. But we're going to do some unboxings here. Okay, I'm back. The first one that we have today is... round painting so it does come with the round toolkit. Um, nothing new about that. It's a very large painting. It is 65 by 52. And do what makes you sparkle. So it looks like I don't know how old this painting is, but it actually looks like they put the drills inside the painting. So that must be a while back for Diamond Art Club. Because they certainly do not do that anymore. So there is the how to diamond paint sheet. is the Cloud Runner. Gorgeous. And the sunlight is on it. I hope you guys can get a picture of that. Here's the ship. Here. This has one AB. And those ABs are in here surrounding for anywhere else and I don't see them I hope you're seeing this whole thing in the viewfinder I actually don't think you're getting the top part of the painting filming in the park where I was getting windblown, sunburned, boy, and it was hot as hell. Um, anyway, so <laughs> I digress back to the cloud runner. I think you could get a pretty good picture of it in the park, except the wind was blowing and there is the whole thing. You know what the cool part of this picture is? If you were to turn it 
this way, you would still see the ship up here. And I'm not, I think it might come this way. I don't know. Because there's the waves. There's, you know, um, what might be like the moon up here. So maybe this is the way it goes. Or does it go this way? This makes the ocean seem much more sinister. Then you got all the clouds around here, and it is called the Cod Runner. So I'm gonna call it and say, um, but if it goes this way, then what's this? I don't know. Oh, it does go this way. I'm looking at the thumbnail. What an idiot. <laughs> okay, yeah. If you look at the thumbnail, yes, this moon or whatever it is, is down here. So I guess we're to believe that this ship is out above the clouds above the moon. Okay, I get it. Oh my God, I've got a thick skull that I get it. Good thing I came back from the park. Um, yeah, I'm a little sun exposed, I guess, but look at the amazing colors in this thing. Anyway, let's take a look at the colors. I laugh when everybody says, oh, okay, get ready for the crinkly. Well, this is a diamond painting video, folks. So yeah, there's gonna be some crinkling. And most people I hear love it. So let's go. Yeah, I love it. I guess if you don't love it, by now you have left the room. So it looks to me like we got a lot of dark blue here. Oh yeah, yeah, let's start. Oh my goodness. So 312, that is amazing. You know, I love blue, I love pink. I think this painting has all of that. Um, so we've got what, one, two, two bags of 310. I'm holding them the wrong way, can't read. In case you were reading the numbers, 310. And then we go to the 823, it's one, two, three, four, Oh no, I'm sorry, I digress. One, two, two bags of, I'm so funny. I always say I digress. Sherry says squirrel, I say I digress. Okay, that's just the difference between Sherry and I. Love you, Sherry. Anyway, uh, one, two, three bags of 939. So those are some dark colors. I mean, we're gonna be in a dark color scheme here for a long time. Then we got 803. And these dark colors are dark blues. I mean, really dark, dark blues. With, with the exception of the black, of course, that's... And then we still got some more darker blues. But now we're getting into the where you can tell it's blue. And we got the purple. Ooh, we like purple. Purple. And this does have an AB. I think it's probably a white AB. So we're going to check that out. That is an interesting color there. Oh no, that's the AB. There's your AB, folks. 123, 127. I can't read upside down. Where is this AB at? Let's take a look. It is over in the clouds. Yeah, not too much over here, but a lot of it up in here, where my finger is, above the ship, sort of in these clouds here, are the this color AB. So there's only one, that's it. Good, I'm glad it's not white. You get tired of the white. Three, there's two, so still more blues. Some gray. More blue, more blue. Oh my God, how many shades of blue can we possibly have? And then, oh, but I love this blue. Look at that blue, that's pretty. And this is a round painting, in case you haven't figured it out by now. And we got purple. So those are the bigger bags. So if you're gonna kit this up, guys, when you're kits, you're gonna figure out, when you have a Diamond Art Club, you're gonna take the package with the heaviest package of diamonds because they're packaged by weight. 
This is what I did yesterday when I, I kitted it up. I didn't do it on video, but I kitted up a Diamond Art Club for the, the uh, hashtag Drills and Chills event. Um, and if you have a painting that you want to do for Drills and Chills, either something autumn or something Halloween, um, put put a photograph, first of all, of the, the new canvas with no diamonds on it. Put that up. Uh, on Instagram, hashtag drills and chills, and then you will be entered into the event. There will be different um, contests, I guess, as the couple months progress towards Halloween, and um, everybody will get to see your progress. So what I was saying is find the heaviest end of the package because these are packaged by weight. So this is gonna be the largest amount um, of this one color. It, obviously, it's, in a bag. This would be the most in the bag. Um, it's not going to be the largest amount of a color because you've got more than one bag of these other things. But this will give you a gauge of what size container you're going to need. Like if you're using the Doris, which I use the Doris Ward, I know 310. Okay, I'm going to use the bigger container. And then I just work my way down until I get to the littler bags. And I know I can use the eeny weeny, teeny weeny size to reward bags. Now, if you're using um, some other storage container, maybe you're using the um, Harbor Freight, you're only gonna want to put one bag of diamonds. And then you just, you take this bag and you, a 310, you empty it into your container, you take the other bag and you just store it. You know, you don't wanna empty all of your diamonds into the containers. You can store the other diamonds till you need them. Oh, look at me, I'm just full of information today. Okay, let's go. We got more blue for you. Look at this, wow. More blue. These, so these are the packages with the, you know, a fewer amounts of diamonds. Purples, we're doing, this is a blue and purple painting. And now we get into the whites. So we got 3865, 3756. I love 3756, it looks like snow. So that's what we use a lot in this snow paintings. I guess in this case it's going to be clouds. More blue, more purple. <laughs> we have a lot of nice colors though, but wow. 50 shades of purple and 50 shades of blue. My goodness, that's pretty cool. That's kind of a minty green. Oh, you know, there's no green, there's no pink, there's no red, nothing like that in this painting. Gray. We weren't getting down to some really small amounts of diamonds that just accent some areas here. Dark purple, browns, and man, that's the ugliest color, color ever. That's why there's only a few of them. That is 3023. Ooh, I don't even know what color that is. Maybe olive? I don't know. Anyway, those are the those are the beads. The drills, the diamonds, whatever we want to call them. And we've looked at the canvas. I didn't pull this apart in the park, but you know, it is an older canvas, meaning you know, Diamond Art Club probably had this, it's been sitting on the shelf for a while, but still, and probably not not longer than a year, because that box is this year's box. Uh, see, there's there's wrinkles in this plastic, but nothing. The canvas is perfect. Let me put the symbols up there for for you to see. I'll put the moon up there. You want to see the moon? I'm calling that the moon. If it's not the moon, I you'll correct me. I know. I think you can see those symbols. I always say that, and then I look back on the replay, and no, you can't see the symbols. Gosh darn, you know what? I try. Okay, so um, as with all diamond art clubs, you get the schematic on either side. I always replace this cover, right? I, not right now, but when I go to do the painting, when I'm preparing to do the painting, I will replace this cover um, with the uh, a different material because I. Um, I just prefer not to have this plastic 
you know, you can use the cover minders to hold it in place while you're doing your painting. And on a smaller painting, I would. So here we go. Let's, it's going back in the box because we are not doing it for right now. Thanks for bearing with me in the park and coming with me on my little journey on Labor Day. Um, it was a nice outing and um, a nice thought that I had we could do that in the park. So I will see you again in my next video. Everybody take care.